Hey everybody, thanks for listening to The Fate of Aizen. If you want to watch our adventures live and take part in the chat while you're at it, make sure to follow us over on twitch.tv slash fate of Aizen so you don't miss out. And if you need to get new dice, make sure to head over to fanrolldice.com and use promo code fate of Aizen to get 10% off your entire order. And here's the recap. Over to you, Dexter. Thanks, man. It was a very emotional time for, I think, all of the sidebars. We said goodbye to Lakeside, our home, for definitely not too long. And then we all said goodbye to Hamlet as he had a family emergency back at his homestead. And I said goodbye to my boss. It's, I don't know if I'm a lackey anymore. It's really thrown a kind of spanner in the works. And then the bedraggled and barely seaworthy ship arrived in the port. Uh, to take us to our next adventure. Who knows what that's going to be? Probably aquatic. Anyway, enjoy. Hello! Hi! Hello, hello, hello! Hello and welcome to Fate of Eisen! We're back! We're back with book two! And we are a Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition podcast made by a bunch of Kiwi comedians! We are proud members of Kiwi RPG, Kiumu Whakatao o Aotearoa, tabletop role-playing from New Zealand, and we korero poki, tell jokes, hopefully save the world, and have a whole lot of fun along the way. Thank you for joining us. If you are here for the first time, welcome, welcome! It's nice to have you along. We can always use a new fadey in the crew. And if you are one of our fadeys coming on home to Aizen, we've missed you. I've been sick. Where were you with the cup of soup? Kash has been sick. Where were you with the cup of soup? I mean, we're family. <laughs> it's about family. It's about family. It's about time. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, so um, looking at, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do the thing where I turn you down just a little bit, Sev, because you just about blew out the desktop audio, so. Um, <laughs> I cannot be contained. Apparently not. <laughs> My stuka. I am very excited about heading into water. Really, really excited about heading into water, actually. We have a whole new chapter of book two to tell, and I have a wonderful cast of heroes to help me discover it. So, without any further ado, let's meet the sidebars. Who we got today? Hi, I'm Jules Daniel, and I play Bradley Bardley. I'm a bard that's also a little bit Bradley. And <laughs> um, uh, a fun fact about me is that I've watched every single episode of The Simpsons. The end. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kia ora kata. <laughs> uh, ko Severin Tokawingawa. Uh, I'm playing the human monk Dexter Clementine, who is a young, pubescent, punchy boy with a big robe and a sus mustache. And a fun fact about me that I learned recently is, you know, like you've got Wordle? They also do another game called Connections that I am weirdly good at, and I don't know why. Back to you in the studio, Jules. Okay. <laughs> I will take it from here. Hello, oh, this is Kasha. Indeed. Uh, yes, uh, I am Kasha. I play the half-elf druid Granny Sabinka, who is a badass and certified granny who can make a breakfast out of pretty much anything. And a weird fact about me is that... (laughs) Weird fact about me is I sent my baby to daycare and caught not one, but two different illnesses. And I just had COVID. So this is the 30th day of this month. I'm actually still sick. <laughs> Hello. Back to you, Jules. <clears throat> and hi, I'm DM Jules with COVID. Double lines over here. Woo! But we're doing the thing anyway. I'm on the end, tail end of the COVID. I'm back to work tomorrow. I'm uh, feeling much perkier, but uh, yeah, forgive the old uh, brain uh, for that little glitch on the the live stream you saw nothing it totally wasn't the earth live stream temporarily for a moment there we've always been in the water live stream i don't know what you're talking about um awesome (laughs) okay so excuse me for coughing occasionally today all right 
But we have a big episode for you today. Last we left our heroes, they were aboard a particularly bizarre ship, um, one that looked bedraggled and all not really seaworthy. Uh, they were boarding and, and joining the sailing inside a landlocked lake to the ocean, apparently, where a library is under the waves. Yep. That all makes a lot of sense. Um, so let's join our heroes as they are boarding the ship and get their 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 first reactions to this craziness. So what are you guys thinking about as you're like boarding this very strange ship? You remember all the sails were hanging wet against the mast and there's barnacles all the way up this thing. There's holes all in the side of this thing. Like, what are you guys thinking about? I'd say Dexter's... Filled with trepidation because he's a very land-based boy. And this is... <laughs> he hasn't been on a boat a whole lot. And so he is kind of a bit nervous about how he's going to kind of send himself. How he's going to have that connection to the earth that he normally does while on the high seas. Mm, Granny walks on. Like... Oh. No, you, you go. <laughs> <laughs> Granny walks on with an open mind, but also a, an urge to clean up everything and I would like to whisper to my companions that doesn't look like it's gonna float I don't think it's going to float I'm pretty old and I've never seen something like this float and I walk on I mean yeah but we've been in a cart that didn't look like it should go so I like I'm feeling optimistic I guess it I like well. boats <laughs> <laughs> that's good I like I like the but... hero tale I got good do, news for do, you do... Do you all feel like this boat's about to go into the water? Because that's what I feel like is about to happen. Because how 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 does the lake go to the ocean and the underwater palace and the whole boat's dripping? Are we going to go into the water? Nah. That is. I mean, it's a terrifying not. suggestion. Because if so, not. how do we breathe? Is is <laughs> this no, no. is what I, I'm thinking of? <laughs> but but boat float on water. Yeah. Boat don't float in yeah. water. If there's one you... thing I know about boat. Usually, but, Usually, but also, do you remember all of the past last year <laughs> that we've <laughs> we've been doing a lot of interesting things? Was it a year? Maybe strange. It was, it's hard to take it take a uh, track of time. <laughs> I mean, both of you have peed yourselves and three fruits just now. Yeah. Um, you're looking around this ship and you're realizing that everything does look quite wet. Like the seats, which are clearly for people to sit down on and travel in this thing. There is a cabin, um, which, you know, traditional kind of uh, sailing galley. You know, you've got the two cabins on either side of the ship with the raised like platforms, you know, at the, the stern and the aft. Uh, stern and aft? Bow and aft? Um, anyway. You know, so you've got that kind of traditional look in the ship. So maybe you're sitting in the cabin somehow, or maybe you're sitting out here. There is also these big chests, uh, which have clear signs above them. Please place your belongings here. Oh. Luckily, Dixon like doesn't have a lot. <laughs> all of our belongings? <laughs> like all of them? <laughs> like all of them? I feel like Bob needs, needs to stay with me, so I tuck Bob into my pocket. Are you scared he's going to expand and just fill the chest? <laughs> how big is... How like, big somehow... He's going to drown on his own. He's a, he's a yeah. precious uh, companion. How, how big is the chest? chest? Uh, it, it's experience. quite sizable. Like, and there's a few of them here, actually. Like, against the walls of the different cabins, there's a few. So it looks uh, like... Are they chained to the walls? So they don't come off in the, when the boat rocks? They are attached yeah. to the walls, yes. Mm, secure. Not are they waterproof? Like, I'm just curious as to whether it's better to put my bag in the chest yeah. or the chest in my bag. Yes. <laughs> and, and the then age old conundrum. And, and then do I up mean, the bag around the chain so it's still doing the thing. I think if yeah. I can do that, that's what I'll do. Okay. Um, it's not chained so much as bolted, but I like where your head's at. Um, and then it'll still be bolted. I'll just yeah. tie the top of the. The, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the the chest itself, as you're looking at it, it does look to be quite waterproof. Um, just as you're like looking at this thing, large enough, um, solid enough. Not doesn't look like a magic bag of holdy type situation, but just solid and waterproof. 
Okay. Um, before it can be bagged up, Dex is going to put his belongings into the chest. So his sort of <laughs> warning, regardless of what it says about being put in the chest, he's going to do it. Uh, and then just put like a bunch of like odds and ends that he kind of carries with him. It actually just says to you, things are about to get wet. Warning. <laughs> Uh, is this a wet must Lord. themed cruise? Because I'm here. <laughs> I put my fingers on I have set winners. Oh, <laughs> they start advertising for wet must earlier and earlier. It's terrible. I know. It hasn't even been <laughs> no. wet, wet a week. It feels like it was. It, it hasn't there. even been weaster. <laughs> it hasn't um, even been wet Valentine's Day. Wet. <laughs> and so, Halloween. <laughs> Yeah, Jules, well. to get us back on track, can Dexter <laughs> pull the Karen move and try to speak to the boat's manager about why things are damp? The boat's <laughs> manager. Is there a the captain? captain? The skipper? The, <laughs> the boat's manager. <laughs> the person that manages the boat. Yes, what about this confusing? Is... Please take us there to Captain is... Karen. Um, <laughs> captain yeah. Crunch. If the captain so as the Karen... you look... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You As you're thinking this very thing, busily packing up your belongings inside and bolting your belongings back to the wall through the bag, however this is happening, I accept it and I'm here for it. Either way, <laughs> everything is either inside a bag or inside a waterproof chest and bolted, right? Mm-hmm, I've got that mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, you are looking around for the uh, Karen, uh, uh, no, the manager of this um <laughs> No, this Dexter's ship. the Karen. <laughs> Apologies, yes. Um uh, and you look up to one of these uh, higher platforms where the wheel is, the big wheel of this ship, and not surprisingly, you see a figure standing there, uh, you know, peering over a map, peering um, at this table with this, like, glass up to, you know, and then sort of uh, testing the weather and the wind conditions and doing all sorts of pre-flight checks, essentially. Um, <laughs> right now, the cabin uh, doors. Yes, pretty much. Uh, and then sort of calls out to the uh, the port uh, boys helpers on the on the jetty um, and and thanks as they you know Horses, throw over the those the, dang the, port boys they throw over the galley, galley plank like you know the no, plank that the you use to board the ship. The oh no! Uh, can I go up to this person that seems to be in charge? The... Mm. Hello. And he goes ah ah. ah. You scared me. <laughs> and, he, and he just just to just just to go back and sit down. Like, I be there in a minute. Oh, I just had a question. And he just <sighs> like a big <laughs> sigh. <laughs> Arr. <laughs> it turns around and is like, fine. Arr, I be captain. I be sunk. I be sunk ready. That's Captain Rere to you, land lovers. And he peers at you from underneath his enormous feathered hat while he waves his hooked hand in your direction and dramatically stomps his peg leg on the deck. So we- and ye best be taking ye seats as me ship the cluster's revenge is getting ready to swim. And he That's grins stupid. at you, making his curly mustache curl like dramatically even more. Okay, I now have two questions. How did he <laughs> 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 The first question, is it Captain Ready as in like you're ready for something or Ready as in something that's red? Re- ready! Ready? Ari Ari! Ari Ari! Ari That's a fun name. <laughs> Can I call you Captain Harry or is that messed up? <laughs> that is definitely messed up. No part of that is me name! <laughs> Fair enough, that'd be a weird move. Anyway, moving on to my second question. Why is everything damp? Usually only bottom of the boat is damp, but no, like everything is damp, and I'm quite confused. Oh, well, you think you know better than I do, do you? No, I just asked a simple question. Uh, I am not trying to challenge your authority on this nautical vessel. (laughs) I'm sorry about the name thing. The wizened woman (laughs) raising the hand. (laughs) Just, now uh, I'm just avoiding my question. Are the, okay, are the what feathers is wet on his hat? Uh, so, yes, they're they're very wet. <laughs> they're like slicked back. Uh, really? <laughs> Why would you sew feathers on your hat? They get all wet every time. That's a fair question. It's a waste of a hat and feathers. That is a and that is a fair question. We would like he to know. He does give you. He does give you a, a blank look of kind of like his jaw is just sort of open. You can roll in. 
like a insight check on that if you like. Wait, Granny, are you trying See to tell you him? Can... Are you trying to tell him how to wear a hat? It apparently doesn't like being told what to do. Look, somebody has to watch over those who cannot watch over themselves. And oh, uh, I got a thirteen. <laughs> Yep. Oh. Yes. Yes. I got a one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> an, actual, an actual one. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, oh no. I mean, plus oh, no. Six, I forgot. So. <laughs> I forgot for a second about what happens when you roll a one. Oh no. The awesome oh, no. Yeah. Is it you get your feather uh, tied no. with? No, no you have to roll me a d6. Oh, yes, that's true. I did forget. Yep. How? Um, okay, so. Silly. With a thirteen, there's definitely like you the the rest of you that are rolled under this. You don't notice. He just kind of looks at you, and you're like feel awkward that he's just not answering the question. You know, um, but there's definitely a look <laughs> of like, huh? I hadn't really thought about the answer to that question. You know, like it just there's kind of a like a huh? You stumped me on that one. I don't have an answer for that. You know, kind of look very briefly that crosses his um, face. Uh, what'd you get? <laughs> oh, a one again. A one okay. again. Consistency. <laughs> I'm a one again wet mess person. I don't know. Uh, so as you're, as you're considering uh, how this works and why his he would sew feathers to something if it would just get wet, he also sort of his eyes grow very wide as he watches you sort of grow bark on your arms and he's like are you trying to be the ship now? Oh, no, that's a rare skin condition that, you know, people of a certain age, their skin does weird things. It might I'm be the sorry. sea breeze. I just ignore it because this, this this, just defies my idea of the world. As we know, um, old people don't change. So I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> and I scratch it and I'm like, it's perfectly smooth. It's my best feature, my skin. <laughs> it's perfectly smooth. Step it's aside. Balsa. Step aside, dump man, and I go wherever <laughs> the arrows show to go. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, right, as I was saying, uh, ye best be seated and buckle in. Me ship's about to swim, and ye don't want to be standing when that happens. Is that what they say, swim or ride? Or drive. It's normally sail. This is a different yes. word. And yes. he... Like, you've noticed that the ship has been making these, like, small jerky movements as you've been, like, putting your bags in and you've been doing the thing and, you know, like, you've been having this conversation with him. And he looks back as if to check, like, how far away from the port you are now. And he goes, I, I know what I said. And there is this, like, shimmer that happens with the ship. And he turns back to you and with a, an absolute grin, like a mischievous little twinkle that is like the face of someone a lot younger than he's trying to portray, he winks at you all and goes, this is me favorite part. Um, <laughs> and at that, Dex is going to, from a stand, sprint to one of the seats. Just <laughs> <laughs> um. I would very much like to ki- cast a-, a quick little feather fall <laughs> on all of us. <laughs> Just Fair enough. And, you have and, no idea what's happening. Yeah, I'm going to try and be like, you know how people tie themselves to a mast? <laughs> Basically that. If I can rope myself to a mast <laughs> somehow. Or a chair. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, and so, I'm yeah, muttering there... like feather fall. <laughs> Yeah, Doing there is song. like essentially kind of buckly, ropey situations on each of these seats now that you realize. Um, and so the, the few of you that have run for seats are, are scrambling about with this, you know, like it's not clear exactly how to do it. He doesn't look like he's going to tell you. You guys are cheeky. <laughs> um, so uh, you can, and like, you know, badly, you're just like lashing yourself to the mask quickly <laughs> um, as as the the boat begins to shake. The ship glimmers again with that strange light all around it and eases its weird jerky movements as it comes to a stop. And the ship starts to sink quickly below your feet. You can feel it going down. Captain starts to sing a jaunty little tune as the ship floods with water. He goes, Oh, Billy, over the sea is where I be, where the light sparkles on a mermaid's tail in the salty water, fills the sails on my way to my darling seaweed ale. 
oh, below the sea is where I be. And he's just like singing away as you know, the water's lapping over the edges. Your feet are getting wet now. What are you, what are you guys doing? <laughs> crab, uh, crab. Have I managed to bolt? Has Dix managed to bolt himself in? Am I, am I fine? <laughs> uh, roll me a survival check to see if you have oh. managed. <laughs> Can I make a case for sleight of hand? Sure, I'll allow it. Hey, it's an extra plus one for the audience at home. <laughs> Natural 20. Hey! Ooh. Don't forget to give yourself inspiration if you don't already have it. Oh, hell yeah, I spend it. <laughs> and someone better be snipping that sea shanty for me so I can have it again. <laughs> We're gonna have like a, a club remix, like jungle <laughs> <laughs> remix of the shanty. All right, how the, how the rest of you go? Can I also sleight of hand? Yes. <laughs> Imagine she's like, no, <laughs> only Dexter. Right. <laughs> only Severin. <laughs> I'm a special boy. Um, I got a 15. Oy. Nice. Yeah, you fit, managed you to figure it out possibly enough to lash yourself to the mast. I mean, you've got a lot of rope and you've got a lot of lashing. So, you know, it kind of figures out. Uh, what's if, Granny? What, granny, can, how's Granny doing? Uh, if I can touch yeah, Granny, I'm... can I give her guidance? Oh, thank you. That would be very helpful. You're touching. You're not playing Baldur's Gate, have you? <laughs> um, I would like to <laughs> lash myself on and uh, at the side of a water, I just turn into a crab, but still be lashed. Um... <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're crab and lash and end guidance. I love it. I'm into it. I mean, first lash, then crab. Yes. All right. right. So, <laughs> what, how did how did your how did your survival rule or sleight of hand roll go? Oh my goodness, I didn't roll because I am. Uh, the lash and crab is my favorite pub. <laughs> yes. The water continues to pour over the sides of this thing. It's like it's really it's getting kind of high now. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It is not the worst. It's nine. <laughs> Nine, okay. No. Yeah, you've managed to sort of wrap around it, and then as a crab, you can lash it onto that with your crabby claws and just sort of hold on as well. So you've at least got the rope kind of wrapped around your claw and your claw grabbing it, no, you know? I'll do, I'll do some practiced knitting moves to wrap it securely. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, the the captain is laughing kind of to himself and enjoying himself uh, with his sea shanty and the, the looks on all of your faces of petrified fear oh. as you're like running for the seats and stuff and he laughs so hard he knocks his own hat off <laughs> and as he does <laughs> he does he tri- oh and he stands up to try and like rescue it and you realize he was kneeling on a pig leg that was kind of attached around his knee and as, as his leg comes down as he goes to catch the hat and he's like oh uh and he just sort of jams it back on his head and he's like, uh, what? <laughs> uh, how'd you lose the leg? <laughs> well, it's, it's, um, it's what they expect, ain't it? You know? <clears throat> Wait, is it a, is it a fake paid leg? Is it like, like an accessory? You, 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 uh, you, you tell me what, what is a pirate supposed to look like? I don't know, I've never really seen one. You could look like anything. I think the the, anyway. the main feature is the robbing and the murdering. Plundering? I've heard of yeah, plundering. On, from ships. Illegally. I've That's heard what of pirates are. Downloading. <clears throat> yes. Right. Something well, called a car. A float test would never allow that kind of carry on. You know, you, you wouldn't download a cart. <laughs> Okay, anyway. outside of ads from the 2000s, um, when I hear the term float oh, test... That wasn't an ad, that... it was an anti-piracy warning. <laughs> That's true. Um, yeah, the float test does not, the flow test does not um, trigger anything immediately. You can roll history checks to see if you know. Um, but this water is kind of getting up to your like waist, sort of yep. d- nearing your chest levels. <laughs> Does, you guys worried about that at all? <laughs> would would no. digitation be able to create a small bubble of air? No. Um, it yeah, can make a wind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, what? I, <clears throat> I, uh, <clears throat> anyway, that this is my ship, and I'll have you not to judge. They just ex- expect certain things when you're Earthwalkers, you know? Oh, you mean landlubbers. Landlubbers, yeah. That's See another problem. I've heard a lot about pirates for never seeing one. <laughs> May I uh, ask uh, if Granny's very old, so who, can I roll something for whether I've seen anything like this before? Because logically, I would probably try and start saving 
them from drowning. <laughs> oh, not, uh, not some of the fake pick leg. <laughs> no, yeah, no, you just... can roll. You can roll like a history check to see if you've heard of any of this like kind of magic before, or any of this kind of transport before, or okay. what is going on here. I As you guys are all eighteen, so I know exactly what's 18. going on. Okay, so. Uh, in my crab language, <laughs> yeah, you you know what's happening. Um, yeah, you're not necessarily able to communicate this to anyone. But what did Bardley get on an Arcana check? Uh, great question. Bardley will roll the Arcana check, and it is. Oh <laughs> yes, it, thank you, Erica. 21. Erica and Chat gets it. He pirated a pirate. God, guys, the joke was right there. <laughs> But 21 did you say yes, yes 21 yeah oh. you okay so so as like granny starts like frantically gesturing at you like to chill like it's fine chill because granny you're like oh no i've seen ships like this actually they go under there's like you know there's transport that goes under the waves this made sense i thought about this this morning like <laughs> why am i fretting about it now you know because how else were we getting down there um you know so you're kind of you know, remembering you've heard of these kind of vessels before. Not quite like this, but you're, like, trying to communicate that. Badly, you're absolutely aware that there is, like, magic auras all over this ship. You're just kind of waiting, um, and he looks like he's sort of waiting. Um, is it too late to untie myself and put myself in my bag of holding? <laughs> yes. Because Good, the chests as, are waterproof. Damn. Yeah, as, as the water comes up to your shoulder, he goes, oh, fine. You've had enough? This is fun? <laughs> it was for me! And then he to like flicks a, sl- a lever, which has been just down by his like ship's wheel this entire time. And like the water stops rushing in as this just like bubble of air the kind of like rushing. comes up. Yes. Um comes up and starts to cover everything. And as you sink downwards and as you kind of like you know, sink and dip away. You see now that the water rushes over the walls and over the top of this bubble. It doesn't go the whole way up the mast. So, like, the mast is kind of left and the sails are kind of left out in the open in the water. But there's, like, a bubble that protects, like, everybody inside, like, traveling on the ship. And the water just kind of is pushed out and rushes away. And you're just left there, like, damp tied to your chairs. <laughs> and he goes, So it was a choice fun, to right? get the top of this bolt wet, is wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> clean ah, your decks. <laughs> Great. Now all of my clothes are wet. Yes. Uh, I said that in crap. Um, <laughs> Even my <laughs> socks are damp. Any Wait, you wear he socks? Point... Definitely. He, he pushes sick. a he pushes a button um, by his wheel as well, and the door to like the back cabin like flings open, and he goes, "Drinks and snacks and dry socks available." Hawkins <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I take one drink, <laughs> one snack, and one pair of dry socks. <laughs> yeah, I take two snacks, no drink, no socks. I would like yeah. to change back into Granny, which hopefully saved my clothing from getting wet, which is why I did it in the first place, and I planned this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A hundred percent. You are dry as bone. Oh, I should have talked would you to like your voice snacks? earlier. <clears throat> I would love a snack, but I could make it myself and I start like druid crafting um, uh. fire under my frame. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> there is something on. You'll be Every day chefing. <laughs> yeah. Every day I'm chef thing. It's breakfast time, right? <laughs> Yeah, and he he sort of says, er, uh, "Well, enjoy yourself now aboard the Coster's Revenge." I, I gotta I gotta concentrate for this next, but it's really hard actually. And like the the, the pirate voice also trails off as he says that. He, he's like, "Okay, wait, what was uh, it? right." I'm glad that now that <laughs> wait, 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 um, wait. our plan meets death has been cancelled, we can still get some Kiwi pirate content through Fate of Bison. <laughs> We've got to we've got to pick up the uh, the baton. Forget Reese Darby. We've got Jules from oh, NZ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's still that's so, just made me sad. Let's just make it a sad episode. <laughs> anyway, so so as a 
as the ship is moving, you realize it's like getting darker, you know, deeper here. It's it's much deeper than you actually thought the Omega Lake could possibly go. You know, like you're still going down inside a landlocked lake as far as you knew it was landlocked, right? And you're picking up speed. So, <laughs> it, like the sails above you are billowing, somehow like full of water, but moving like and you're moving quite quickly considering you don't understand how this is happening and it's getting colder and it's getting a lot darker and so your eyes sort of have to kind of slowly adjust to out in the darkness but now you can sort of see waving shapes in the darkness every now and then and a little fish kind of swims up and over the bubble and you can see like pieces of seaweed and stuff floating around down here and as your eyes start to adjust to the depths you realize that there are massive shapes down here really thick shapes they are completely surrounding you they're moving alongside the ship and they look like they're like gonna come and bash the ship what do you do yeah as we go into the dark do we see captain ray ray take his eye patch off of one eye and switch it over to the other one yes <laughs> <laughs> i was just wondering i was just wondering i, I don't know how this is gonna work underwater but can i cast frostbite on one of them <laughs> You can try. Very <laughs> They're trying to bash the ship! I've gotten could, kind of fond of it. Could I ask <laughs> Captain Ray Ray what they are? <laughs> yeah, yes, it's please. So, so, yes, I, so can we I'm ask Captain like, oh, Rachel Ray? What's that? <laughs> yeah. Rachel Ray. Rachel um, Ray, what's that? Yeah, so um, so he's kind of concentrating and he's like having to, you know, like peer at his maps and kind of concentrate back up and like you're like, Hey, Captain, what's that, basically? Right as Dexter's, like, about to cast a spell, and he's like, oh, no, don't! (laughs) Duh! What? (laughs) What was I gonna do? Nah, you sound (laughs) crazy. He's like, that's... That's an... He's laughing. He's kind of laughing, and he's like, you want to blow up the the protection that you have, you earth walkers (laughs) from the ocean! No, no, You want to make that... No, no, it's not like... It's not like a projectile thing, like it just appears on them. <laughs> is that is that allowed? What well, this uh... thing's gonna bash the ship? <laughs> and he's like, no! <laughs> and he wipes his eye, pulling up the, you know, um, the eye patch to okay. wipe his eye. Kind of from, like, <laughs> cry laughing at you guys. Wait, okay, are we gonna the... project something onto the sails? <laughs> like and some he... sort of motion picture? <laughs> Yeah, he like knocks his um, curly moustache and it sort of peels half off his face. Um, and he's like, oh, for goodness sake. And he just kind of like pulls that off. Is pulls his the hook hat off, hand even real? Pulls Does the he... jacket off. The hook hand comes off with it. <laughs> it's Count Olaf from a series of unfortunate events. <laughs> oh, I'm an orphan. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. <laughs> He's left standing there wearing, you know, the boots with the f- with the fold with down, the just some some basic like you know breeches, one of those you know white billowy shirts with the with the ties, and he pulls out of just you know nearby like a out of a chest, just a really basic with a beaten um, leather tricorn hat. And as he does so, and he kind of like turns around to you, you realize this guy is actually quite young, and also a rather dashing sea elf, like. That guy's handsome. <laughs> Granny notices. And he he says, no, that's that's seven. That's what? No, it's one. Seven. No, it's one of them. No, it's one of no, them. No, I think you'll you'll find if you count, there's seven. I was only Jeez. looking at one. Out of oh, are there are there seven there? And you look around and you kinda of count these like weird, billowy, thick, ropey shapes that get really near the ship and look like they're gonna smack it and then kinda of move away again. And there are seven. No, oh. mm. no, nah, the the math adds up. All right, I got this one. You see, dear, these are numbers, and we were talking about <laughs> names of animals. Numbers: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Animals. Wait, nine, nine, ten? wait what happened to nine? nine? <laughs> Ox. No. <laughs> That's a weird thing about Granny. Refuses to acknowledge the number nine. <laughs> He's like, Let's get it out of here. Eight, ten, <laughs> six. nine, sir. Have you seen He's nine like, of anything? <laughs> He's like, yes. seven. I, I know you're concentrating, but say hi. And like, the 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 like the the big thick ropey things kind of come much closer, and you realize they are big giant. 
tentacles with big like suckers and they just kind of like flap at you inside <laughs> and then they sort of go back to like pulling this boat through the water. Oh, and you realize hello. as you kind of like look out over the edge just a little bit, you can kind of push the bubble a little with your head without it breaking. You know, you have to be very gentle, but you can kind of push it a little and you can see that these big, thick, ropey arms are coming out of the hull of the ship and they're actually pulling the ship along um, with its big, strong octopus arms. Oh, I was going to ask, is it, is it an octopus missing one arm or is it a squid missing yes. four? Because <laughs> giant squid is kind of half of the course here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I've got my squid in the data. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, I didn't know that. So <laughs> you can even make a little squid at Tafapa and then you just send it out and it lives in the ether with all the other little squids that everyone made Amazing. at Tafapa. We'd go and see the giant squid. Anyway, back to the anyway. octopus. <laughs> um so yeah, it's pulling seven. it along. Um and he's like seven. seven lives in the ship. It's me and him now. We're the we have this commission. We are captain and and first officer of the cluster's revenge ever since you know dad passed what's cluster I, the the ship um it's also a group why, why of octopi it, why does it need to avenge something <laughs> i need to know more yeah what are, what are these octopi problems <laughs> yeah i mean i did like almost those... attack one that is a problem i apologize. i don't i don't actually know uh dad sort of adopted seven when he found him without a arm and put him to use and they've been inseparable ever since oh cute Where are we going? i don't even know how old he is oh yeah <laughs> i should concentrate and, and you're like you realize that there's like a gap basically that looks white um coming up as you're like headed towards what you thought was like the bottom of this thing you realize you've been actually traveling through some kind of a wide uh tunnel and it like as your eyes are adjusting, you realize that that's why it seemed so endless and so deep. Um, and it's about to get quite narrow just before it looks like it's going to pop out of the dark tunnel. And so he's like concentrating. He's like seven left, port, starboard, aft. Jules knows, you know. And he's cut like <laughs> it's less actually about the steering here and more about sort of directing seven it looks like you know in terms of like lining it up right and then just at the last moment he releases like the sails to give it like an extra burst and you just poof out of the darkness and just into the light and it's almost blinding for a moment as you're like whoa you know because it's just so beautiful down here it's like crystal blues and there's like tropical fish just kind of like suddenly swimming past you because you're still near the like coast here um and he's like right uh easy sailing from here uh but it's gonna get cold uh er, uh sort of uh it's it's not like we're like sailing in the in the in the in the real southern you know (laughs) we're in the northern Sees it. it'll be whatever. Enjoy. <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Just kind of gets back to settling. So you got a moment here to kind of chill uh, on the ship, take it all in. What is that? Uh, tell me about rather than me describing everything that you see. What is something that you see down there that catches your attention? A little castle that has bubble co- co- bubbles coming out of it. <laughs> Are we in a fishbowl? <laughs> <laughs> like a ruin, if if you please. Yeah. yeah, like something that's fallen off a cliff nearby, probably reclaimed by the sea. Yeah, makes sense. Maybe like different colours of coral. I feel like Dexter would like. He'd be like, oh, there's a purple one. And then it goes to like orange really quick and then blue. Oy. Nice. You so don't see this on like- land. No, it it is so foreign as you're looking out on this landscape. Like, everything looks just weird. And the way that the land is, there's no, like, flat areas. Everything is kind of just so broken and, you know, it's just covered. Like, everything is covered here with something. There's no, like, bare land, you know? It's not not like that down here. I hope not. Yeah. (laughs) Scary. Um, The animal of the I think I uh, badly notices some of the marine life around, probably. Some sea anemones. Not enemies, but anemones. And anemones. anemones. And fish or fishes, if you prefer, to be a gangster from the 1920s. 
Love it. Um, yes. <laughs> cool. No chat. There's no krakens. Um, <laughs> Is there a shrimp that's very unreasonably colorful and dancing and singing a song? Well, um, sorry, yeah, it's yes. just fine. <laughs> What legally sure. distinct song would that be? <laughs> oh, something about yeah. down in the right? ocean. <laughs> I, I see a shrimp and I just point it in and I'm like, you shrimp. You yeah. shrimp. You bully a shrimp? <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm pointing so, at Dexter. <laughs> so, do, do you want to fight you're, right now? <laughs> you're traveling along like this for some time because he did tell you that it was going to be like a full day's journey. So you can kind of like, you find you can sort of walk around the ship a little bit as you sort of get to bearings with what it's like to be on the ship with this octopus kind of pulling and like you're still moving quite like fast but it's like a weird jerky sort of underwater movement um and so you sort of get the hang of like the you know jerking you're around walking around and stuff um but yeah you pass the time on the ship a few hours go by and things start getting a bit like he told you a bit colder a bit darker here he told you they had to get pretty deep um, so things were always going to because you know they can't exactly just hide a whole city on near the surface of the ocean and wouldn't really work. So um, yeah, you're heading you're heading down a fair way. And this is our Atlantis. I'm hyped. Yeah, yeah and so like there's a moment where um, hot land. You know, again, again, your eyes are having to adjust to the, the depths and stuff. <laughs> And, Sorry. and again it's quite unnerving with these large sh- like shapes around the ship you know it kind of feels a little spooky ghostly like it's just these big dark foreign shapes moving in the you know in the depths there with you yeah and so it's only actually uh your captain sunk there who notices when something's different he goes oh uh we're gonna go dark, people. Just gonna turn the lights out for a moment. Uh, just bear with us. And so you notice, like all the, you know, all the torches here that aren't really torches. They're like magically um, contained uh, light. Um, just sort of turn down and go dark. And your eyes sort of again need to adjust to that lack of light. And you realize what he's talking about is there's these three large shapes, sort of circling the ship and at, at a distance to it and he's like it's fine he says really quietly it, everything's fine these are just you know uh, the predators that we have here but if we go quiet they shouldn't actually bother us we're quite large we're not exactly a top target so just are they aliens sh- too or just predators <laughs> he goes I, I don't get it <laughs> Is Neither this land I. lover references? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know, but I feel like it would make a good moving picture that we could project onto the sails if you wanted to. Seems like a whole another world is kind of somehow. pushing through the veil as you uh, uh, lose your uh, absolute composure in this scary, scary situation. And that's fine. <laughs> Badly. But right now, what would serve us better <laughs> is if you just sat and played with your little toys over there by the mast. You have them. I like the idea that like Barley just sits down and like goes and plays with the toys and the next thing you hear is loud musical noises after he's just told you to be <laughs> sad bad noises like a slide whistle ding 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 <laughs> that's that normal trumpeting. noises underwater I think Dex mm. is going to keep an eye on the on the predators at any sign of trouble he's going to spring into action like the living weapon that he is yeah and like you, you monitor them too. You realize that they're definitely circling the ship. Um, and there's something kind of weird about the way that they're doing it too. Like now that you can kind of see what these things are, they are they look like they're giant sharks. Only they look like they're moving quite oddly um, and moving together. Like, and it's not normal for three giant sharks to be moving as like a pack like this either. They're pretty solitary. Uh, creatures not usually working together like this unless i don't know they're trained to or something's going on with them but like this is this is strange um and you can see without even insight checks looking at captain let like he is also perplexed by this you know and is is keeping a very sharp eye on them psst granny psst granny granny psst, psst, granny yes yes you could you can speak to animals right can you can you ask the sh- can you ask these sharks what's up with them and why they're 
I'm acting very suspicious. Check that there. Okay. Because I don't think okay, I that's can. Fine. You know, it's probably better me to presume that if you've done something before that you can do it now. That, that is on me. I mean, if I, I would... <laughs> just like an idea. Have I? Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. Um, sure. <laughs> and so, um, as you're kind of like whispering together and sort of putting your like heads together about this, there he goes. Oh. Uh, that's not good. Uh, oh. They're on a collision course! And you turn and you look and you realize that they're just three of them just like pack rushing you right now. And he's like, seven dive and you feel like the ship like pull underneath you as all seven legs of this giant Whoa. octopus try and avoid like you guys sort of lift off the deck and then kind of <laughs> slam back down onto the deck as it's like trying to do that and he almost gets out of the way of this thing but one of the shark hits the bubble just square and just rips a hole in it as it goes off and does another lap and like water starts sort of pouring in and it goes ah uh, th- this is not good. You guys are gonna have to deal with them. They never attack like this. You, you, you heroes or something, right? Like that's what the deal was. Uh, I mean, do we seem like heroes? <laughs> and he's like, "Well, yes, yes, we are. <laughs> heroes sure. or not, heroes, whatever you are, I got some bad news for you. In order to fix that shield, I have to drop it, to put up a new one, and there's a delay. So, um, hold your breath." And he just pulls the lever one more time, and just oh the whole gosh. shield like drops. And you guys have uh, some time in the water, sort of as you kind of float above the ship with three sharks in the water with you coming, turning, rushing directly at you to figure out what you're going to do next. Because that's the end end of the episode. episode. (laughs) What on time? I'm not going to see. <laughs> <laughs> so, we got started on time. <clears throat> yeah. Mm, Join kinda. us next week to find out what happens as our our heroes get their first taste of underwater combat Ooh. action, which they are not used to and has a How whole lot of penalties. How do I do a lightning strike underwater? <laughs> <laughs> How's that supposed to work? It's like going to be perfect. <laughs> 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 It is going to be very fun as we all figure out all of that together. Yay! As we continue our journey down to uh, the float to meet the floatess or not meet the floatess. I don't know if you guys are important enough to meet the floatess, but we'll see. Um, Thank you so much for joining us on our adventure today. We hope to see you again soon. If you are listening to this podcast on your podcast app of choice, maybe come along to a live stream. I have to say this, guys, to catch the action directly as it happens um, because we stream every second Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. in ZDT, and we would love to see you there because stream is hype. You guys are hype right love. now. Stream is life. Uh, All hail the like, stream. There is stream excited... Excited shark noises in there. There is excitement about octopus friends. You gotta love there was, a shark. There was Don't guessing about where Captain Rere's name came from, and somebody nailed it. It is Tereo for to sail. So hey, he is. Kia ora. I am. Kia ora. So yeah, very fun times in the chat. You got to be on the live streams to to really get the full grr, fun of I'm it. Sorry for so, calling him Harry. <laughs> that's not me. Um, that's that's, that's colonialism. Like, you no. just saw a pirate, and you were like. <laughs> Harry, <laughs> but um, the beard snake. I did. I did really yeah. love my my pirated pirate, and I'm glad that you guys got to do that with me. Um, so so many amazing people are involved in the production of this podcast, and I'm incredibly grateful for their hard work and dedication every single episode. So I want to give a big shout out to my partner in crime, Brad Zimmerman, editor of the incredibly polished episodes that you hear, and responsible for the design of the World of Eyes in Book One. Thanks to Amy Ward Art, our glitteriest moderator, doing the thing in the live stream. She keeps our live streams chat a wholesome and hilarious place to be. Thanks to Haunted Sandwich for the character art they designed for our sidebars and to Aiden Messer Photography for capturing our players in real life. We are proud members of Kiwi RPG and we encourage you to visit their website to find other Kiwi creators that you need to know about because they're all awesome. 
Um, of course, this podcast wouldn't be able to keep going without our patrons who keep the lights on in Eisen HQ and make the Fate of Eisen Discord a delightful home on the internet. We are so grateful for your support. And it's time to do the huge thanks list. So thank you to Alex White Robinson, Irene Coochie, Laura Christine Goodwin, Sam Malcolm, Kai Dealove, Victoria and Gavin Porter, Daniel Nichols, Violet, Squish the Guy Who Doesn't Talk in an Audio Only Podcast, Alexandra Lickkites, Andrew Evans, Takeas the Fox, Dakota Shimansky, Jared from the Indie Film Review Podcast, Ezekiel Tara Borelli, The Gamatron, Kristen H, Sam Sarah, T- Sturbed One NZ, Linden Hood, Tom Wood is uh, Wood is Flesh, Not Bone, Ailey, Erica Jane, Stevie <laughs> James, Stephanie James is Awesome, Penny G from the Terrible Adventures of Genesis and Medford Department of Company Podcast, Aaron Gilgren, Robin McLean, Moji, Torchy Barkai, Danielle, The Tea Lady, Lady of the Tea, and Liz from Movie Reviews and 20 Qs. Yay, we did it. Woo. Thank you so much. And if you want to be a fady who keeps the lights on and join our exclusive Discord, you can do that by just joining up to Patreon for as little as $2 a month. Become one of the many fadies that I now consider friends. And before we go, I wanted to remind you that if you have a hankering for more dice in your life, you can head on over to our partners, fanrolldice.com, and use the promo code Fate of Eisen, and then you can get 10% off your entire order. That's right, have a dice discount on us. And last but not least, kind of the mace, the, the most, um, huge thanks to my players. The mace. Oh no! <laughs> and finally, <laughs> the mace, my player. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna finally, pass it over. Finally, to someone. <laughs> I'm gonna pass it over to them and see if we can do this better than we did the intro with that new thing that we decided we were doing today <laughs> to, tell, <laughs> to tell you where to find them on the socials. Take it away! I, I don't know. I thought we did pretty okay to begin with, or at least I did. <laughs> anyway, I'm Jules Daniel, or you can find me on uh, TikTok under Jules Daniel NZ or Instagram. I'm Jules Daniel on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kia ora koutou. Uh, Severin Goli Comedy Person on the Facebooks for all of my stuff that's happening. And at Severin Comedy Boy on TikTok, I have six followers. So you could be my seventh follower. <laughs> seven? The prime, you could be. You could be seven. <laughs> if you go over and follow me on there. And... Grow and what quality and please quality. turn on your app right now please hmm? <laughs> please turn on the app right now <laughs> oh that's me uh, uh, hello. Hi. I haven't got my Hi. one job <laughs> you had one job now that he's not a lackey he's just slacky he's a slack <laughs> if you have time to lean you have time to throw it to uh, uh, and you're slacking it Mira. love that uh, Com- so my slipping. slacky as my slacky said uh, my name is Kasha I am a comedian and I am about to come back into comedy in a month Ooh. and I'm not saying where uh, because I'll probably be still sick but watch me on Facebook which hopefully Amy is linking and I will post there Come back. That's true. Come back. Back to you, Jules. Oh, also, I would like to thank our phenomenal, professional, attractive DM Jules, who has done so much work for this uh, thing that we're doing uh, every day, uh, all day, uh, on top of very demanding job and other DMing. Um, And it doesn't feel like she's DMing all the games. It just feels like she's DMing this one game because it's a very good game. There you go. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I'm Here. I'm I'm homebrewing like a crazy person right now in lots of games and it's getting intense. <laughs> bring hey. back modules, bring back modules anyway. Um, so uh, um I know Amy has already done the links of me in the chat but yes, you can find me everywhere uh, on all of the things as Jules from NZ mostly um, and you can book me for your birthday parties and bits and pieces once I am covid free. Um, I will come and DM at your house because I like doing that stuff. So, um, find me on Quest too. All right, let's get out of here, team. I'm Enohora, Kakite Ano, and Aroha Nui. Bye, everyone. Kakite. Call your parents. They're worried about you. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs>